Hey everybody, Riot Mort here. It's been two weeks. You know what that means. It's time for another patch rundown. We are on patch 14.12, which is pretty wild to think about it because patch 14.13 is the world's patch. Patch 14.14 is the for fun patch. And then we're done. Pretty crazy. So, you know, we're almost there. And so because of that, we're at that point in the set where we near the end of the set and things don't change a ton. It ends up being, you know, pretty straightforward, uh, especially as we head into Worlds before we head into the fun patch. So, yeah, I'm uh, getting pretty close. But let's dive right in and see what's changing this patch. It is bigger than the last patch. Um, so, yeah. All right. First thing, uh, this is a revert. If you remember, we did that one patch where it used to be the three cost, three stars were dominating, and then we did the framework adjustment and the leveling change and a couple other things. Uh, and all those other things kind of helped, but they went a little too far here. So we are reverting the level seven roll odds here. Again, we like it so that level six is where you get, go for two costs. Level seven is where you go for three costs. Level eight is where you go for four costs and up. Uh, and it kind of made level seven lose its identity that we ended up not being really happy with. So level seven, 40% odds, get those three star three costs if you want. That's what that level's there for. So yeah. All right, on the trade side, Duelist definitely doing very well, which we're fine with, uh, but they're going to get a light touch to their mid game. Uh, I mean, you've noticed we've been doing that a couple patches in a row now where it's like a light touch to a champion or a light touch to a trait. But here, their four and their six piece are going to lose 1% attack speed per stack. Hopefully not a huge buff or a huge nerf, but there you go. All right, Exalted. Five Exalted. We've seen five Exalted be playable in pretty rare cases, but never early. We wanted to make sure five exalted is good early. And so for five exalted, now you get two XP a turn instead of one. Should be cool. If you can get like, especially with like the one, all one cost one or something like that, you can level up even quicker. Cool. Uh, Reaper. This looks like a nerf if you're not thinking about it, but is a buff. The four Reaper bleed duration goes from three seconds to two seconds. This is a big buff. Because if you think about it, the, the way the bleed works is let's say you did a thousand damage you'll do 500 true damage over three seconds. Well, now it's 500 true damage over two seconds. So that Reaper bleed will do a lot more damage quicker. Uh, so four Reaper hopefully makes this a playable comp. Uh, Sniper, Sniper's really, really close. We're pretty happy with Sniper, but four and six, you know, it was nice. We finally got six playable. I was so happy to see six Sniper actually playable, uh, but just a little too far. So the tiniest of nerfs, and I will tell you, my game designer brain, I hate seeing that number 17 there. It should be 16 or 18. 17 is such a weird number, but this is where we're trying to make the balance absolutely perfect. 16 felt like way too big a nerf. So we're going to go 8, 17, 33 here is what it is. And then Trick Shot. Trick Shot is actually, like, if you can put it all together, it ends up in an okay spot, and there's some other buffs later. But one of the things we don't like is that it feels like you have to go for trick shot. Like there's really no other way to play it other than the four trick shot build. So two trick shots going to get a buff here. It'll help out its early game and it'll allow you like, maybe you want to play like the seven ink shadow Kaisa version. You don't always have to play for uh, trick shot and that value trade-off should be something a little more worth considering. So yeah. All right, on the champion side, one costs, Sivir. Sivir two and three get extra time on their ability. So all those meta reroll Sivir comps will now be better. I mean, it'll help though. So if you want to play Sivir, if you get a strong Sivir, cool. Her ability will last longer, which is good. All right, two cost side. The nice thing here, and in before someone's like, oh, they did this last set, all the two costs got too strong. These are all minor buffs. But yes, two costs are getting a bunch of buffs. Uh, Aatrox will do a bit more damage. Janna will do a little bit more damage. Lux will do a little bit more damage. Riven will do a little bit more damage. And Senna will do a little bit more damage. It's not like we're seeing a ton of reroll right now. These are all very tiny buffs. They're all very safe buffs. But yeah, hopefully this allows some more uh, two cost reroll comps to be out there. Um, yeah, should be good. On the three cost side, Soraka three. Nobody plays Soraka 3. That's not a real thing. Uh, so Soraka 3 gets a buff. Should make her pretty good. And then, yes. So in before, here's going to be the hot topic, right? We got the Reaper buff. We got the level 7 odds. And we got a Yone buff. So is Yone back? Are we back to the launch? Is Yone back? 
And if he is, with how many backline Lilias and Ashes can he kill? It'll be interesting. So we'll see. Yone hopefully is an option and hopefully not one of the worst champs in the game. So there you go. Uh, on the four cost side, and again, you'll notice it's a lot of buffs, right? Like we're not nerfing the stuff that's really OP. We're just kind of buffing a lot of things and hopefully up, opening up more lines here. But Annie and Galio have been the two four cost tanks that have suffered the most. Uh, so they are going to get lower mana, so they'll be able to cast more often and hopefully keep their team alive and stay alive. So cool for them. Uh, Kane, yep, that's right, more Yone buffs. <laughs> uh, Kane's going to get five more AD. Kane's going to be able to do a lot of damage here, so Kane's cool. And then Nautilus, just a little bit less health here. Uh, Nautilus, still a good champion, still doing fine. That CC, he's often casting two, maybe even three times in a fight. So just a little less HP, so you have to invest in him. Should be pretty minor. Five cost side, uh, Hui actually gets a buff here. So if you now have a Lilia 2 and a Hui 2, uh, Hui should be a little bit more worth it. And then Lissandra, still, Lissandra right now is the worst five cost. Um, so again, this is barely a buff, but you'll happen to get more loot, opening up some more uh, fun power into her. It's not like it makes her way better. Obviously, that rework where she lost the throw hit her pretty hard. So we've been slowly buffing her up patch by patch. There you go. All right, items. Lichbane. Uh, if you were curious about Lichbane, the artifact, this is going to get a pretty decent buff. Uh, upwards of 10%, maybe even a little more. It's like 12% here. So Lichbane, if you want to play Lichbane Kindred or Teemo or something like that. A big part of this, by the way, is that one of the best users of Lichbane was bugged, which we'll talk about later. We fixed that bug. So if you look at the Lichbane stats, a lot of that was being propped up by the bugged kindred um so yeah uh suspicious trench coat this artifact's great has a bunch of really cool combos um just a little too much health a little too much value so it's going to lose 150 flat health uh ages of the legion now displays vfx during planning phase so you can see which hexes are being activated helps clarify that uh spite here this gets a bit of a change um this item's probably going to end up getting reworked eventually but for now the AD and AP reduction goes down, the AD and AP increase goes down as well, but the duration goes up to 15 seconds, and you can stack them. Now, in the wild case where you get two spites, lowering your enemy's team's AD and AP by 50% is pretty wild. They do stack, so we'll see. But I don't, I don't think this is going to move the needle a bunch, but it is a change. Uh, and then Crest of Cinders and more Morella Nomicon, they got their bug fix last patch. That bug fix nerfed them more than we wanted, so now we can put power back in them. I'm a big fan of the uh, Crest of Cinders because now the bonus damage isn't lower than the base version, uh, so that's nice. The duration goes 30 seconds. And then more Morella Nomicon has its attack speed increased. Uh, on the Augment side, these are all really minor changes, but let's go through them. Risky Moves gets three more gold. Yay, I like that augment. Boiling Point gets a Lux and an Amumu now to help you get started. Cool. Built Different, still struggling. Um, gets buff, more attack speed back. Cool. Combat Caster, those shields are going to last a little less time. So they're not just free bonus health. Uh, so those will wear off pretty quick. Crown Guarded. Crown Guarded gets a big buff here. This is probably one of the bigger ones. But Crown Guarded now gives more AP and a bigger shield. So if you want to go Crown Guarded. Now again... Crown Guarded has a time limit. Don't put three Crown Guards on somebody. That's not the play. But build three Crown Guards and spread them. That's good. Uh, long Shot. This was propping up Snipers a lot here. So Long Shot gets reverted on its attack speed here. Trade Sector gets two more gold to help it out a bit. Wrath of the Moon. This one's interesting. Umbral's been doing well, but also with Yone doing well, or Yone getting all these buffs, the Augment is going to get nerfed a bit, so it won't be as good. Uh, Baboom, again, this one, if you're someone who's pretty familiar with live right now, you're looking at this Baboom change and you're going, how are they buffing this augment? It's OP on people like Kindred. But again, we've bug fixed it, so the buff kind of makes sense here. And then Shopping Spree, one more gold, the tiniest change. So, And then bug fixes. Uh, in Hyper Roll, Fortune's Tooltip now correctly states that you gain luck after every player combat. It used to, and then it got changed somehow. Now it's fixed. Uh, Fortune's tooltip now specifies you gain luck only when losing player combats. Cool. Uh, removing fish bones or rapid uh, fire cannon now properly remove the range increase. There was this exploit where if you had like a golden remover, you could place it, remove it, and you'd still have a bunch of range. Only for a round, but yeah, that's fixed. 
Uh, Behemoth on death buff can now be applied to allies more than one hex away. This is a big buff to Behemoth, so uh, this one in particular, this has been a bug that's been around way too long. Glad we got this fixed. But that means Behemoth's actually going to work right now, so do consider six Behemoth as a possible option. Uh, Kindred no longer applies Lich Bane's damage twice. There you go. And Kindred no longer benefits from Baboom's damage increase on every cast. So yeah, Baboom's best user, Kindred, fixed some bugs there. There you go. So that's it. That's the patch. It's Like I said, it's not a massive patch, but it's nice to see a lot of green numbers. It's nice to see hopefully more lines be playable. Uh, hopefully some more reroll lines so it's not all about that four cost all the time. But there you go. And like I said, after this, one more patch is the world's patch. And then the fun patch, and that's it. Um, the other thing to call out here is this is our five-year anniversary for TFT on this patch. So there'll be a bunch of cool things, some login bonuses, a free battle pass that comes with a bunch of rewards, uh, completely free. There's no paid version, a um, bunch of new cosmetics, and Pengu's Party, which if you've been watching my stream, there's a bunch of cool modes there, make a bunch of cool things, Nomzies and mechs and all that fun stuff. It's really great. So yeah, check it out. And there you go. All right. That's going to do it for me. Until next time, take it easy.